If you have nothing nice to say, just don't say it at all, okay? So, before I get into this video, I just want to say that there's like no tolerance for any negative comments that you guys have. Um, everything that I have researched, I have been dwelling on for months and months to finally come to this decision. And yeah, just no negative energy in the comments. If you have nothing nice to say, just don't say it at all, okay? Because I know this is like a huge controversy, controversy and yeah, I just don't need the negative energy in my life right now, okay? But, um, but yeah, so I'm making this video because I am six months, I'm about to be seven months next week. Um, yeah, and I decided that I'm going to get my COVID vaccine tomorrow. So, as you guys may know, um, the vaccine period is just like very controversial. Um, people have so many things negative to say about it. Also, people have a bunch of positive things to say about it. Um, honestly, when I first heard about the vaccine, I was a little bit on the fence, but I am in the medical field, which means that I am high risk. And also, on top of that, I live in New Jersey, which is like the number one hotspot right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just being in the medical field alone, I, when I found out that they were coming out with the vaccine in December, I was kind of like iffy about it. I talked to my provider and he explained how um, I should definitely get the vaccine, but I was like so iffy about it. Um, after asking multiple people, some a lot of people said, just don't get it, just don't get it, don't get it, whatever, whatever. So I decided not to get it. Fast forward months and months later to now. I was debating on getting it just because I feel like there's been pregnant people that got the vaccine. I got to see the reactions of people that got the vaccine. Everybody at my job got the vaccine. So I got to see the aftermath. Um, I feel like more research has been done on the vaccine since they first came out with it. But I personally know pregnant people that got the vaccine and also um, one of my co-workers said that their friend got the vaccine while pregnant and the baby came out with the antibodies, so their baby is protected against COVID as well. There were also some um, research done that um, feeding, like if you get the COVID vaccine, giving it to your baby through their breast milk or after you get the injection, the baby will come out immune to it. So um, that kind of pushed me in the direction to want to get it as well because obviously I want my child to be protected against this virus that's, you know, that's killing people. So um, I kind of just weighed my pros and cons basically. Number one, again, I'm in the medical field. So the lasting effects of COVID are way worse than getting the vaccine and being sick for a few days if that i do protect myself i wear a mask i wash my hands like a million times a day <laughs> so um yeah i just decided to get it just because i want to be extra protected and um i'm not gonna lie i still am a little bit nervous but i just feel like it's the right thing to do just for me and my child and yeah so that's what's happening tomorrow I'm going to document it and I'm going to show you guys um, basically what's going to happen. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so I am on my way to work right now. This, that's where I'm going to get my um, COVID vaccine, by the way, at my job. Um, yeah, I'm a little nervous, but I mean... I feel like it's the right decision. Again, I've been dwelling on this for months and months and doing research and seeing outcomes. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna keep this nice and short just because my um, I didn't charge my camera last night, so I don't want it to die because I want to get the footage of me actually getting the vaccine. 
see. But um, yeah, it's almost game time, guys. I have it scheduled for a few hours from now. It's 6.20 in the morning right now, but um, I think I have it scheduled for like 10 o'clock. So I guess we'll see how everything goes. <laughs> all right so it is eight o'clock um i just got off of work it's been about 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it's been about nine hours since i received my covid vaccine and I just feel like arm pain, you know, nothing too crazy, but obviously this is day one. But ultimately, I am happy with the decision that I made. Um, oh my God, sorry. I'm in New York driving and y'all know how it is for New Yorkers. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm ultimately happy with the decision that I made. The woman that did my COVID vaccine was actually pregnant. So um, she was just telling me how other pe um, pregnant people have gotten the vaccine and how it's okay. Um, she thinks I'm gonna be fine. Um, she actually got the first dose before she realized that she was pregnant, but she didn't get the um, second dose because she was in her first trimester, which is the reason why I didn't wanna get it in my first trimester. So, but she was explaining to me like, if she knew about it, she would have waited until her third trimester like I and just, got it then since the baby's more developed but ultimately I'm happy with my decision and I am getting my second dose in four weeks I think I think it's like between 19 to 21 days so I'll be getting my second dose and yeah I'll be fully vaccinated 